Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's review the concept of torque and equilibrium. Now keep in mind that when we have linear motion in Newton's second law, if net equals ma, if there's no acceleration, then of course there's no net force. Likewise, if torque net equals I times alpha, the moment of inertia times the angle of acceleration, if there is no angle of acceleration, then there's no net torque. So when there's no net torque and there's no net forces, either in the x or the y direction, then things are in equilibrium. They're not moving. They're static. And so now we have what we call static equilibrium. And so let's say we have an object right here, which is at static equilibrium. Let's say that the object is supported at its center of mass. We place a big mass on one side, a small mass on the other side, and now everything is balanced out. Well, that means that the net torque must equal zero. The net torque is the same as the sum of all the torques combined. So in this case, we have the big MG, which is causing a clockwise torque, that's a negative torque, and we have little MG, which is causing a counterclockwise torque, which is a positive torque. So we have force MG times distance, and force times uh, which is small mg times distance. But in other words, the torque caused by the large mass must balance out the torque caused by the small mass, so they must add up to zero. When you then solve for the ratio of the big mass to the little mass, that's equal to the distance from the little mass to the point of rotation to the big mass at the point of rotation. So simply it just illustrates that when things are balanced, you can sum up all the torques and they must add up to zero. That technique can be used to solve many of these static equilibrium problems and we'll show you an example or two so you can really see how that actually works. And that is how it's done.